Hey guys, what's going on? It's Nathan here from Midwest Outdoor Experience. Um, heading up day to our hunting lease. Um, gonna get some food plots ready. And we're gonna start off today by doing some spraying. Got our big sprayer tank, a bunch of water, and some uh, Roundup to kill out our food plots. Gonna do some mowing. We always like to mow them down first. Just gonna show you guys kind of how I start the process and how this goes, and maybe to help you with your food plots if you are into that thing. So, both seasons right around the corner. It's only about Mm, like 37 days from now Missouri opening day so yeah gotta get those food plots in and get ready to go so stay tuned we got about an hour drive left and we'll be up there and we'll start the day so we'll see you up there all right guys we're out here I got uh, four of the five food plots sprayed and cut already um, dad's down there cutting the last one right now I'm gonna take us down there and just show you guys how we uh, spray our plots um, been busy day um, just getting stuff done getting ready for the season so yeah I'll take you down there and show you what this is all about I just want to take a second and uh, show you this is actually my food plot my bow stand is in this tree right here you can see the strap in the seat um, yeah this is gonna be radish uh, winter peas and uh, a couple turnips um, just my own blend and uh, yeah so we've already cut and sprayed this plot it's looking good this one's about a quarter acre um, I still hear dad cutting down there in the background so uh, but yeah so real quick though I wanted to Last year we were always just using hand sprayers, but we upped our plot size. So this year, uh, went on Amazon and bought this little boom sprayer here. And uh, it actually works really good. It gives you about a 39 inch path. Uh, we had to make a little modification here. We took some one inch PVC and zip tied it to the bar, gave it a little extension to uh, so it would coat the ground without any gaps. And then put some stabilizers on there, and that's just zip ties. And, uh, and we put a shutoff valve so we wouldn't be dripping all over the field. It's not absolutely perfect, but with a valve it doesn't drip as we're driving from one plot to the next. So, nothing fancy. We just got a little 15 gallon sprayer we strapped to the back of the four-wheeler and it gets our plots done. I think all together we have about uh, close to an acre worth of food plots. This is uh, one of the five. So, um, yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> dad on the lawnmower um, he usually cuts it once with the deck all the way up and then he'll bring the deck pretty much all the way down and um, he'll cut it however he's got to for at first and then he always makes sure he blows the grass towards the outside so it's not just sitting on the food plot grass that we're gonna spray and try to kill so it kills it a little bit better we've had pretty good luck with this in the past and uh, yeah uh, hoping that it continues to do well for us so um, yeah it's a nice hot summer day but not too bad uh, just have to get this work done before season starts so we'll be back in about two weeks to start uh, planting and we'll go from there so all right I'll uh, talk a little bit more here when we start spraying so. climbed up the stand down here still in the bottoms had to hang a new bow rope last year uh bow rope broke on us but um yeah so the pot looks pretty good dad's just about done mowing we'll get to spraying left a lot of this cover up here this is actually a new stand this year but um yeah you know it falls off and you don't want to just give yourself away so really excited but um we're gonna start spraying here in a minute so i better get down and get ready to go help <clears throat> all right so dad is spraying the food plots we just keep that about hmm, two miles per hour maybe and it coats it pretty good but I'll get a visual of the sprayer and how it's working here when he gets over here but it looks like he's about done with this pot I was uh, cutting some more paths so 
it's been a lot of that kind of day, but it's been a fun day. Looks like it's going really well. You can see it. A little spray works pretty good. Kind of hard to see in the sun. But it just pretty much does the width of the pool area, and we made a toggle switch so we can turn it on and off as we do our little turnarounds, which turns out to be pretty nice. Just like that. There you go, there's a good shot. So yeah, that's how we spray our food plots. And come back in about mm, 10 days. This should be nice and toasted. We uh, have a drag harrow and a little pull behind disc for the lawnmower and four wheeler. And um, I'll show you guys how we do that. And then we'll get to planting. So yeah, uh, just wanna Thank you guys for watching today. It was a good time being out here, for me at least. I always have fun getting to check deer cameras. Can't wait to see what's on there. And uh, just good, it's always good to be outdoors. So until next time, this is Midwest Outdoor Experience. Thanks for watching.